be kind of behind schedule now. It's only because I'm at, I'm on LA time right now, you know. So they're they're a little behind the time. The days in LA are a lot longer than the normal human. And y'all wouldn't even So what's up? Let's uh what I was gonna say to y'all. I was gonna say something to y'all. Uh no shows at the battle this week, huh? Oh, let's talk. Tag Big T too for me, y'all. Tag Big T. Tag Tuna for me. Okay, no shows this week. All right, I see. You know, I see things going on in y'all little world of battle rap. Tisk tisk. Oh, hey Beasley. Hey Beasley. Remember what the fuck you said, Baldy Locks? Remember what the fuck you said, nigga? You remember what the fuck you said, nigga? Hey Beasley, what you say? Hey Beasley, you remember what the fuck you said? All right, keep it up. Keep it up, Beasley, cousin Beasley. Keep watching that shit, nigga. Keep watching that shit, nigga. What I told your way, hey, B, you ain't never known me to be lying and shit, right? All right. All right. You know what's up? I know you hear Beasley because you love it. You run in when the God talk. But yeah, Beasley, remember what you said, right? I told you your ass be wrong, nigga. Your ass always motherfucking wrong, nigga. You pick the wrong motherfucking rappers. That's your problem. That's your motherfucking problem, nigga. And guess what else? I'm be stepping on niggas live. A lot too. And my show starts. It's like it's really a, a triple. Like, y'all really is done, man. Hey, tag for me, Tuna. Hey, Fonz, did you get to rap your bars this week, nigga? Did you get to rap them bars, Fonz? <laughs> did you rap your bars, Fonz? Let's talk about this, y'all. Let's talk about this, friends. Let's talk about this, right? Hey, Fonz. Hey, Fonz, how I feel getting ready for that battle? And you ain't got no raps. You ain't get to do it. How that shit feel to y'all? Oh, man, I'm back. Oh, man, it was a lot of no-shows this week, huh? Huh? Oh, uh, wait a minute. I think Brother TD was there. TD, if you can, like, I I, I think it was, hey, hey, I think um, it was a lot of no-shows this week. Rito, what's up, boy? What's good, nigga? You, st- you still woke, huh? I'm going to guess. Nah, nah, I took a little nap. I'm good. Yeah, that nap boy <laughs> shit, nigga. <laughs> ah, that nap boy <laughs> shit. You ain't get no fucking nap, nigga. How long hey, was your nap? About an hour? Two hours, nigga. I'm wide awake. Oh, damn. You sound like you're on drugs, sir. If I had to guess, nah, that's kind of crazy. Like, <laughs> hey, awake, hey, shot. <laughs> that nigga crazy. I told you, nigga, we're going to get no rest. I, he wasn't going to get. I hope that I hope that boy got his head his head straight, man. He had a headache last night. Man, yeah, good game, man. You ain't gotta, <laughs> you ain't gotta, <laughs> you ain't gotta come in here and talk about Madden, man. Good hey, game, so I, I didn't say nothing about no Madden. I was just making sure you was good. You got home all good. You know what I'm saying? You you ain't running to no walls or nothing. <laughs> hey, hey, we had a good time, y'all. We got a new job that's working, man. We had a lot of fun and shit. So you know, we're gonna let y'all see the fun later. You know, hey, but you beat him on the game too, shot. Hey, you know, man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna speak on too much, man. I ain't trying to blow the man's spot up, but. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, when you come out this way, you come all this way, man. You know, I had to that send nigga, him back hey. with a care package, man. I had to send him home with a care package, man. Hey, that nigga thought he, he he thought that little that little magic was gonna make him look better, huh? I guess not in all situations, <laughs> huh? All right, all right, that's cool. That's what well, I tell you. Once that nigga said, "Hey man, I beat," you, I said, "It's always the niggas that talk all loud." Say, "I could beat you." They come over here and they walk back home. Man, I thought you said you didn't want to talk about it. Come on, shot was good, I'm man. Just saying, man, that's verb doing that shit. He, I mean, I'm just I brought that up. I brought that up. I definitely did. I walked down into that. Hey, hey, shot. Why? It's a good question though. Who was somebody in the NBA that told you they could beat you and then you went and fucked them over? Mm. Mm. Paul George, man. Paul George. Mm. Y'all got y'all got the one on one? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Mm. And, sure. and he thought he, he thought it was in, sweet was, with you? Yeah, man. I was I was at the end of one of my workouts and he walked in. He's like, okay. We used to hang out all the time, you know what I'm saying? 2K and all that shit. So he walked in. He ain't never seen me hoop like that. Okay, I seen you in here. OG, you here working out? Okay. I'm like, yeah, what's up? What's up with them ones, though? Yeah, I don't want to hear none of that. Y'all in here now. Let's get get these ones in. Man, man, you ain't, man. 
you can't fuck with me like, all right, let's go. Once, let's do it. By the end of that thing, I'll stop getting them 2K calls, man. When you beat a nigga down, the nigga stop reaching out. Oh, okay, so so once you saw him do that, you fucked him over in the one on one setting. Yeah, man, it's it's, it's it's hey man, come out here, get this work. Now you know, now you know there's a nigga out here that's that's cold that you oh, ain't okay. never knew that was cold. He was just now when you walk on the court, it's respect. Hey, your phone breaking up. Must be where you sitting at. Your phone breaking up like a motherfucker. Can you hear him? Right? You girl? His phone yeah, breaking up. I can hear him. Yeah, well, it's, it's probably it's, because we're in this high altitude of of like see. Y'all doing these little poor things like battle rap and poor shit, like so the altitude might be a little too high. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I have to come to a lower <laughs> space for uh, for the the service to work properly. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah hey, now but we got different. a new job, y'all. Y'all about to see some cold shit. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Any of you hoes in LA, y'all might want to go fuck them immediately because that's the only thing you got. Like, you might want to speed that shit up, for real. If you are a female and you're struggling and you're tired <laughs> of your temp service job, you might want to go fuck one of these niggas ASAP. Because, look, I'm telling y'all the truth. Like, this, y'all don't listen. Go and fuck right now. Listen, if you are a, a, a girl working a dead-end job, act a certain way. Go give Shy some pussy and get you an NBA player. Go trap. Do not bring your what? funky ass over here Whoa. with funky ass nails and that Whoa. funky ass weave. Leave that shit at your funky ass crib. I'm good. You know, so so a girl with little with, with just you know weave and long nails, that don't work for you, I'm gonna guess. Man, listen, if your name ain't Becky, we can't get it sexy. Whoa! 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 Wait a minute, brother! Oh my god! If your Wait name ain't Karen, bitch, I ain't sharing. Bitch, Whoa. I ain't playing with you niggas. Whoa! You said I have refused to play. Okay, I'm I, fucking I, around, nigga. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. You learned. You learned mm -hmm. your own way. Hey, look. If look, I can't go upstairs and come back down and think about some shit that's missing, bitch, I don't want you over my house. It's some Whoa. shit missing over here. Wow. Have you? Can you? Would you like to tell us a story where <laughs> someone stole like an earring back or something from you? Man, listen. All I'm gonna say is this: y'all watch Boondocks. Uh huh. I'm that one nigga on Boondocks. Oh, so you like eye. Uncle Ruckus? Hey, listen. Y'all better leave me the fuck alone. Oh my God, brother! That's sad that you feel that way. Oh my I God! Mean, like, I've been a sad nigga for a long time, man. Jesus Christ! This is—is is it the behavior? Like, trauma. hey, listen, it's the trauma. Hey, 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 listen, y'all. Hey, I'm not. I, listen, I'm gonna break the news to all the girls here of color, right? I want to break something to y'all, right? Out here in LA, they're starting a policy that says no black girls because of behavior. Y'all might want to tighten up. That's hmm. not a. That is not a fucking game. They are starting to say, hey, do not bring this one in here because we want the vibe a certain way. Hey, look, this is out our hands now, y'all. We got to tighten up, for real, because I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all. They are about to try to eliminate y'all off the face of this earth, man. When you get around the Hollywood settings and niggas are sending, man, like for real, when niggas start sending like texts and saying, hey, bro, you out here, but don't bring this though. That is a severe problem, and it's based yes. on the behavior, though, for real. Like, it's based on behavior. It's not, look, it's fucking behavior. And it's like, it's like, it's frustrating because it's like, damn, man, especially if you got a daughter this color and you got the, it's like, bro, y'all hoes have fucked the world up because people starting to reject that shit now. They don't even want it at their parties. They don't want it at their get togethers. They don't want it no more. Now, can why I, is that, though? Can I clarify, though? Can I clarify though? Because it's not racism, man. It's it's just called prejudice. I I just prefer other like I, I I'm not I don't dislike these people. I just I just don't like these people. It's it's hard. It's it's the but brother behavior when they rejecting this shit, bro. That's when you know it's way too far gone. When they saying I don't want this, like that is a severe problem, y'all for real. And it's crazy because this is what the world is turning into. If y'all really, really think about it, the way that they are displaying the black girl is as a headache to the entire world. Every girl going to cause problems, every color. Why are they highlighting yours? Why is your, your anger and your 
they're putting yours on front page everywhere. When you do that, it sends a message to the mind of the men that say, I don't want to be a part of that. So when is you hoes going to start beating up on these hood rats? Once you start doing that, the world can get back in line. One of you hoes need to stop, start. Y'all really need to form the Power Rangers and go beat up on bitches and get your shit back. It's fin. Look, I'm telling y'all what the... Look, y'all, go look at the numbers. Go look at the probability. Go look at what's happening in the world. They're trying to stand against y'all in all fashions now. They, because that's the reason why they powered y'all up let y'all act crazy, and then they tape it and highlight it. They put it on every fucking website, everywhere. They put money behind your fuck-ups. They put money behind your fights, your screaming, your trying to trap him, your, your oh, he ain't shit when it's over, and they, they're putting money behind that so everybody sees it. When everybody sees that, everybody backs up. Then what do you have? That's why the, this is what my problem is with a lot of hoes. Y'all got to start taking enforcing. If you see some hoes doing some hoes shit to their men, beat on them bitches so it can stop. The, the, the black culture, we get quiet. Everybody get quiet. When something happened wrong, let's get quiet. That is the wrong thing to do because you're letting a bomb grow. We got black daughters. We have black cousins, sisters. You're creating a bomb when you bitches don't check these hoes. If you are a hoe, pretend otherwise. Stop doing these things. Like when you see a Sukiana and she's in France and she's saying, I'm finna go lick some niggas' asses. Like, you see how them white folks in France then was looking like, oh, no, you can't come here. That has to stop, y'all. For real. It, it's They are targeting y'all right now, man. For real, for real. Like, it's it's the, we are the only, like, I'm going to keep it at that. Like, some of y'all ain't going to like this, but it don't even matter what you hoes don't like because the world is saying it don't matter what you like. It, man, if I post my texts, y'all, of niggas out here like, hey, we don't, uh, uh-uh, don't bring that, uh, uh-uh. that kind of shit. That is a, that's a vibration that's moving now, and that's crazy because the thing is, they want y'all gone. It's hey, Verb. sad. Uh-huh. Hey Verb. Mm-hmm. Hey Verb. Listen, bitch told me I would rather you be a scammer. I would really fuck with you. No, no, she did. No, she did. It hurt my feelings. I, I, whoa, whoa. A bitch told you she would rather for you to swipe and steal? She said I prefer scamming niggas. Over NBA? Pre- wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. To, hold I wanted on. to tell her I prefer <laughs> BBLs, but I'm like, I'm lying. I'm lying. Okay. I'm oh. lying if I tell you that. Wait, wait. Hold on. This is trauma, bro. We, we This is another problem for us. Scammer? She wanted you to. She wanted you to lower your level and become a scammer. My nigga, she said I prefer. Sc- this is not the first time she said this out loud into the universe, nigga. I prefer a man that steals other people's identity for money. With confidence, with her head to the left, cock to the left. I prefer a scammer, nigga. Purpose over I mean, uh, Oh wait a minute, wait wait wait. Over a NBA player. Do you know the kind of <clears throat> genetics she can steal from you? Yeah, but obviously it didn't matter to her because this nigga's this higher worth in the scamming world. A scammer is going to jail. He's going to get 50 seconds of fame. He's going to steal everybody's identity. He's going to jail. Did you just hear the visual I painted for you? Her head is to the left. She's smacking her lip and she's snapping her fingers saying, I prefer a scamming nigga anyway. She need to get locked up. You know what I think? I had really nightmares. Are? Nigga, I had nightmares for two days. Like, damn, I can't get no pussy because a bitch said she wanted a scammer, nigga. A scammer? Like, okay, like for girls. But in I the went chat. straight to Karen. I went straight to Karen, though. You know what I'm saying? She went straight to and Sharon. Karen didn't say that, did she? Man, she went straight to Sharon. Bitch, she says, just put your head back. It's going to be okay. We'll talk about it later. Do you hey, want bro. something from Uber Eats? You want something from We're going to order some food. You ain't got to go nowhere. Wait a minute, hold on, bro. This is this is a real problem, bro. Like it's kind of sad for real. If a girl said, "This is an NBA, I would rather for you to steal." It's cooler than being a <sighs> Kobe. Know you, nigga. That was your boy. That's cooler than that. She said, "When, when are we gonna go out here and cheat, cheat and steal from some niggas? This is boring." Boring. Hey dog, do you hey dog, do you know I would have purposely sent one of my cousins at you 20 years ago? 
Bro, you was at the crib yesterday, bro. You said it was boring for you to come up here and chill with me up here. It's well, a different man. altitude up here. We can look, look, look over the balcony, bitch. You ain't having a good time. It's too high. She her nose gonna bleed. She don't understand. And it's it's sad, bro. That is some sad shit. Like for real. Like that is that's man, what happened in the world? Do you remember when the world was like normal? Like it was like you would want, like, man, I'm telling you, 20 years ago, when you first walked in the league. Nigga, please, I'd have sent my, hey, go get that nigga. Hey, look, here's the first thing. Shut your bitch ass mouth. Do not say nothing to that nigga. Go get pregnant. That's the objective. We can change everything right here. Fuck is wrong with you? Because look, get sons. Get sons. Come on, let's get on this court. Fuck is we talking about? So you would rather take that? That uh, Your genetic is worth more than scamming. Your genetic... Hey, listen, any girl, I, I don't have my phone right, any girl that 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 is, you don't process the thought, if y'all get pregnant by him, you have a high probability of making an NBA player that changes your entire life. You get a son out this nigga, he, we're making him play basketball. It just doesn't make sense for you to be a fucking painter. Now, does it, son? You get a son out this nigga, you put a ball in his hand, his daddy been there, he know what the fuck he doing. You make more of them. You make three of Man, these. I'm about to just start saying I'm a scammer, dog. I hear y'all, but nigga, please get a shirt to say that. Please scammer. get a shirt to say that. You don't even got to prove nothing. You can just say it, shot. I'm a scammer, baby. What you do, man? I, I'm a scam. Library cards, bitch. I I take library cards, bitch. What's happening? Hey, any girl that's in the chat, uh, they they check the chat. Is scammers respected to y'all? Like, is that like is that a respected hustle if he's scamming? Now, it, now, now, granted, you can take a lot of flights. He can go on Louis Vuitton and do these things. But do you respect that? Like, it's like when you bring him over for dinner and your mama meet him and say, what do you do? He steal. Does it matter as long as he's able to use the card or does his job matter? Because it's like if your man is a professional thief, that's associated with the devil. Lies, stealing, killing. If he steals from other people, he won't go in your purse. What do you need to steal from a girl? What do either one of y'all need to steal from a girl? The girl is going to... he if Your man will rob you. You know how many men go in girls' purses and take their shit? Like, for you know how many niggas I know from my neighborhood that we lining up these girls, bring them over, and get their cards from them and shit? Ver, she said, she said, he don't really like me if he ain't stole from me. He don't really like. Um, he ain't really. He don't really show that he really like me if he ain't stole no money out my purse. That's when, he, I know a, that's when I know a nigga really fuck with me. I know if he hit you, they like that too, though. If you hit them, they think that that's. Hey, we fucked up, bro. Well, y'all. Why are you saying? Yeah, don't. Yeah, hey, you say I fixed it that fast. We, <laughs> nigga. We, <laughs> not, <laughs> we not in France, nigga. Yeah. We, we, oh, my ass, nigga. Man, what? It's it's the it's the neck roll. It's like if y'all knew how to talk. Y'all can get so much further because everybody attracted to you. Every every color is attracted to you. It's just when they open their mouth, when they feel entitled, when they roll their neck, when they start stepping on it, that shit will get you nowhere with kings. It'll get you nowhere, man. Because all the nigga gonna do is what? Turn his head and say, I'm out, I'm giving another one. And now and I just stopped everything. Man, somebody, it gotta be a girl that's willing to stand up and say, look, hoes, we're dying out here. If we do not fix this in the next year, we're done. Man, them Somebody. hood rats, them hood rats will roof that bitch. That bitch ain't getting that out. Them hood rats will beat the shit out that bitch trying to stand against them, nigga. You know that. Oh, well, then it's over with then. If, uh, bro, it if, if, somebody, if somebody don't stand up, they done, bro. And no, somebody there's no standing stand up. up. This verb is done, man. As much as we want to think that this can be saved, it's done. I, when I first moved to L.A., and I went to this uh this club, One Oak, dog. I swear to God, Burb, that one bouncer, it was one bouncer, nigga, telling black women they can't get into their face. To their face, nigga. It'd be a black girl with three with with three light skinned bitches. And he'll look all the three light skinned bitches like y'all three can come in and won't say nothing to the black bitch. This was this was at least five years ago. I'm gonna be and, honest. It wasn't really nobody know. saying shit. I'm gonna be honest. When they see me, they look me in my eye and then they whisper to their friend, he look like he like white bitches. 
He okay, but, like, he, but, he, but looked uh, like, he looked like he looked like but, but what is wrong if you do? Should you not like who you love and treat you the best way? Why do we get to the point where we say because it's about who you can trust and treat who who treat like when they get a different color man, we don't trip with them. We don't never trip with them because it's like number one, we know they you ain't gonna keep them too long. Like we know that for a fact. So we not tripping. It's just when we get selected by different people, it triggers them for some reason. And it's like, okay, but why? When you really be real with yourself as a woman, you know you be lying. You know you deceptive. You know you telling this nigga whatever. Like, why would you think that's appealing to a man that's going in another direction? How would that be appealing? How does that aid that man growing? Okay, <laughs> if you know your girl trying to take from you every second, here, you need to do this. You're stopping his growth. Y'all go nowhere from there. When you put pressure on that man, go get this, go get this for me, do this. You need to take me here. That shit is it's over with. Like that man cannot grow. He will not go no higher than what the fuck he is. Cause you're taking it from him. When you put pressure on a nigga, you're destroying his morale. He can't go no higher. So niggas are going to what's not what's gonna aid them to get where they gotta go. That's what niggas are picking. You're not being honest, Verb. You're not being what? honest. You got to be honest, man. What? When you see a white man with a black woman, you got to automatically say, I know that nigga stressed out. Yeah, but my thought is he ain't going to keep her too long anyway. Because they only, the, the mechanic that we have, because we like we know our mothers, we know our sisters and cousins, we're, we're able to deal with that for a short amount of time. A white man, he can't process that kind of shit too long. It ain't in him. It's, it's not in his bloodline to take that kind of gunfire. Like, for you to take gunfire like that, you have to be raised in that shit. And it, it gets sick, y'all, because we start thinking it's normal. And it's not normal. It's, it's because we're all trapped in these situations where we see it so much, we think it's normal. It's not fucking normal. But, the, but if these ain't our words, y'all. These are the, the, the higher ups is unplugging, y'all. It ain't finna be no more hood rat rap girls coming out. They finna unplug this shit, man. All that shit. Man, when I saw that shit with, with, uh, with them old hoes on a reality show, girls 50 years old with their hair colors blue and yellow and talking about we outside, we finna run a bag up. I screamed to the top of my lungs like, y'all are killing the girls, man. You're just When you see that, that image alone says, hey, bitch, you can be like this till you 50. For y'all that don't know, it's uh it's it's uh Black China's mama, uh Blueface mama, and uh somebody else mama. Rick Ross, Rick Ross baby mama. Is it Rick Ross? No, it yeah. was okay. So Rick Ross baby mama, China mama, and Blueface mama have a show, and then you say, okay, why do we need this image in the streets to show our girls this, and they're gonna clone it? Why is there not three white girls that are ghetto or three foreign girls that are ghetto? Why don't we have that? We don't fucking have it. They're putting the images out for a reason. They're selecting who the fuck they want on the front page because it's going to run us away. It's going to run everybody away. That's the problem. When you get a nigga, you don't, you don't spit on them. Stand with them. Why every time when you, when you look on these sites, it's a black girl spitting on one of us. I'm sure the other girls do it. They do not highlight it. They do not highlight it. What they do is they highlight yours. They can't highlight it if you don't do it. It ain't there. But y'all do it. And you'll do it for money. You'll spit on them and say, fuck him. We don't need three old hoes with a show. We do not need three old ass ladies who, who, who think they're 20 on TV. Because all it's going to do is tell a bitch 45 and 50, I can still do this. I can be old. I can roll my eyes. I can bat my eyes. I can twerk. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's trash. And, and, and anybody that aids that type of shit, you're destroying the foundation of what we are. What our grannies did not act like that, man. When you see this product hit the streets, we're done. You're a hunt. Stand against it. Stop clapping for these hoes doing wrong. Stop. That's what they know that y'all clap for this shit, man. I'm telling y'all, if I screenshot my texts, bro, niggas are making it clear. We don't do that. In a, if this is the vibration in LA, everything starts in LA for real. All the power follows LA. If this is a vibration in LA, y'all have about a year to y'all like, look, any girls listening, 
get your bitch ass up and that nigga that like you, you might want to go in the house and go and go get him. You don't have mm. no options. You do mm. not have any fucking options because they finna unplug y'all. Once they unplug y'all, you have zero options. So now you're all the you're you're a hundred percent by yourself. Stop the bitch ass lying. Stop the deceiving. Be a hundred with the nigga. Be what he wants. You do not have long, man. I'm telling you, we out here. That is becoming a no. It's becoming no, sir. Absolutely fucking not. Because they don't want the attitude. They don't want it. So Y'all verb, so verb, so verb, so verb. You got an Asian chick, a white chick, and a black chick, and you say, shut the fuck up and listen to what I'm saying. What's the responses between three of those? Who's responding in what way? I, I know this sounds crazy, but the Asian is going to say, and that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was kind of wild. Uh, sorry, I had to. But the white girl is just going to say, I'm sorry. That's it. You tell the black girl that, Hey, you don't tell me what to do. Then she's going to stand up. You got me you ain't my, you ain't up, my father. Nigga. You ain't my father. You got me it's fucked like, up, damn. nigga. You got me fucked up, nigga. That's the only thing that's going to happen. Fucked up, nigga. Now so I, Asian, tell her, I tell her, shut the fuck up and listen to what the fuck I'm saying. It's a problem. Yeah, she's not going to listen to shit you saying you say that. Your ears closed. Her ears going to close because she don't closed. like the way you said it. Like... Like the Asian girl might reach in her purse, like I slice your bitch ass up, nigga. It might be that, you know what I'm saying? But she gonna say it in her language, so you don't understand it. White girl won't respond. The white girl, girl not moving off the couch. She's, she's actually gonna, gonna put her couch. head down. You gonna stand uh, down? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm down. sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. That's what's gonna happen. The black girl's gonna crack her knuckles. She's gonna be like, nigga, what you trying to do then? <laughs> like it's gonna be that, and then it's like you might get hit. That kind of shit, bro. Like this is crazy. But who taught them that though? They they bitch ass mamas. And then they bitch ass mamas. And that's why we're destroyed. The girls have everything to win, but they don't understand. You can't act like this. You cannot act like this and get a husband. You cannot so act I, like this. What if I and change the tone? What if I change the tone of the question? Because that's what they say. It's the tone. It's what you say and how you said it. So if I say, can you listen to me for a second while I'm talking? She's gonna say, You don't listen to me. That girl ain't hearing you. No, she still ain't hearing you. The black yeah, girl ain't hearing you. trying to hear you, bro. Uh-huh. Because you gave you gave a command that does not go with what she wanted. Now, the Asian girl will not bark. The white girl will not bark. The black one is going to bark with you all day long. Because, you, because even if you say it's soft, the fact that you're giving a command and it's a black man giving a command is a problem. If it's a white man at work, like you say, the white man going to say, hey, I need you to stop being late. She'll stop. She'll stop. Won't be no mouth. She will 100% mm. stop. You so then the nigga her, at home and be like, why you come home so late? And she got a problem. You don't question me. That's what it is. Now, now, these are the subjects people don't want to talk about, but we talk about these type of things. We don't run from them. The reason we don't run from them is because we the only crew of people that's not going to be lying to y'all on camera. Like, we not lying to y'all. We being 100% straight up. People get on camera and they lie and they scared. I'm telling y'all right now, all y'all niggas that's walking around here scared. The world is finna reject them, man. They're doing it at a high clip. Right now, everything is starting. I'm telling y'all females, you do not have an option. You do not. You got one, two niggas maybe in your life that really like you. You better get one of them and shut your weak ass up because it's finna get dark out here. It is 100% finna get dark out here. There will be no more new hood rats, okay? Anytime it's one successful hood rat rapper, right, another one comes. We ain't seen one in a minute. After Red, we ain't seen one. Who's the next one? That ain't how that works. And anything, saying, anything in music. They shut the door on hood rats, verb. They're saying they're shutting the door. On they're it? Shut. They're, I, I got that from inside the game, though. They're finna stop it right now. We haven't Red been out by what three years? Red been out three years. Where's the next one? That's not how. That's not how business goes. That's not how music goes. If we find one cold nigga hooping. We're going to say, where are you from? And go find another one. That's what we're going to do. If it's that, everything is stopping. Why? Think, girls. This shit, what, 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 what he said about the, the, the doorman nigga sending them, that happens at a high clip, y'all. I've seen it multiple times in my life. Multiple times. They're trying to isolate and get rid of shit, y'all. And they're doing it for a reason. You do not have an option. Get you a nigga you like and stop that bitch ass lying. 
Stop the blame game. Stop saying it's you. Stop making a nigga think he got to jump through walls for you and there is nobody buying it currently. Stop listening to that fucking rap shit. Stop watching that TV. That is a lie. Nobody's jumping through the hoops. If you do not believe me, go and Google the percentage of y'all that get married. Google percentage of black man that gets married. He's picked. Black man picked. Go look. Don't listen to me. Go look. It's dropping. It's dropping, y'all. Y'all got to tighten the fuck up. You're going to lose everything. Your only option. Because who's the nigga that funds y'all? The dope boys and the rappers. Who's the nigga that really accepts your bullshit? It's only the black man. There is no other color that goes for it. Name another. One of y'all got another color of, of, of man that accepts that shit? Nah, nah, fuck that. I want to hear about uh, one of these black women cussing out their Chinese boyfriend. We ain't never heard no Never about seen that. that. Shit. Never, never seen. Never. We never, we, we never seen the on camera say, yeah, I'm taking the money from the Asian man. Or I'm a, yeah, make these niggas give me money. The, the Asians and the different other races, they have unlimited supplies of money, y'all. Why you take them from the niggas and the niggas don't have it? How the niggas going to get up on their feet if y'all take their money and feel like they got to pay to have you in their life? It's just pussy. He's going to hate that motherfucker in a couple years anyway. Like any nigga that comes from fucking with girls is not going to want to keep fucking you like that. He's not. So make him fall for the personality. It's just pussy. You think that it does something that it doesn't. You're walking around thinking this pussy in this head. That shit is nothing. It's on every fucking corner. You got to have the personality to grab him. Make the nigga love you. That pussy, that ass, your face, it will change. It will 100% change. You got to get in this game and you got to find a nigga quick, sis. It's over. Like, for real, put the chicken wings down. Stop listening to that rap shit. Clear your mind. You do not have that long. When all the niggas is gone, if we the number one option y'all have, right, why do you spit on us? You don't have another option. What is the second option of man that's dying to have y'all? What is the second option of man that is programmed to understand your bullshit mechanics, how you act, the barking, the, the shit talking, all that, right? Where is that? Where is the next color guy that accepts it? Men that are listening, she only has one option. If the bitch don't get in line, cut her off. She has one option, you. She does not have another one. Statistically, anything I'm saying to y'all, go look it up. The white man do not buy y'all and make y'all company share owners. He fucks y'all until you start rolling your eyes and he send you back, right? That black man go to work for you. That black man comes in and deals with your eye rolling, deals with your smart ass mouth. You have no options. You probably should stop. Everything I'm telling y'all is accurate, whether it bleeds or not. The reason why so many of y'all are at work because of your attitude. Because when, I'm going to tell you something about a man. If he, if you aiding him, oh, he don't need you to work, bitch. Uh-uh. Go, go sit down. Be on, be on call for me if you're aiding him. A lot of y'all are at work because of attitudes. Get off the phone with them, them stupid, whack-ass friends you got. Get off the phone with them. I don't understand why our girls want to huddle up. And, 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 and get in a circle with losers. Like all these hoes at this table, if, if, if you go out on girls night and it's seven of y'all at a table, no men, all y'all paying for y'all own food and shit like that, something is wrong. Something is wrong. That pussy does not have any value. That mouth does not have any value. The person you are is. If a nigga sees any of them flaws in you, he's turning his back, man. He's not buying it. Hey, hey, Ver, let me ask you then. Why is it that a black woman can respect her white boss but come home and disrespect her black man? I think it's rooted. I think it's rooted in their minds, but that wasn't us. Like, whatever whatever, whatever you think, because this is what they go to a lot of times, be, well, our slaves and the, uh, bitch, you wasn't there. I wasn't there. This is a whole new time of world. That did not happen to us or you. So why are you carrying that genetic down and using it for an excuse? Just use it as an excuse of, okay, you don't know how to act. Say that, but don't say, oh, our ancestors. You don't know them motherfuckers. Ten generations back, what's your cousin's name? One of y'all answer that. You don't fucking know. You have no idea. Who, who's the ten, ten versions back? What's your, what, what's your granddaddy's name? Nobody will remember those things. So why are we bringing that shit? Are we making excuses for shit that doesn't even make sense? There is no excuse. 
tighten the fuck up. If y'all, if y'all understand, if you aid that nigga and you be calm to him, watch how fast he moves. He's gonna run faster. He's gonna get to where the fuck he gotta go. And then that's that's the key. Quit stepping on him. Pretend the same way you go to work in your job and you hey and you act nice to that white man and you act nice to everybody who run in the show. Do that at home. He dying for you. Your job ain't dying for you. If you get sick at your job and you can't work, guess what's gonna happen? Sup. But guess who's gonna be trying to nurse your bitch ass back to hell? That nigga. Your only option. You better stop listening to them songs. Uh, like this is what makes me so mad about our girls. You hoes are dumb. Y'all praise the female rappers and all them got niggas. They tell you hoes don't have a nigga. They have niggas and you fucking follow it. You fucking follow it. These hoes have niggas. They keep a nigga. They tell y'all get rid of yours and you follow that shit. That's fucking dumb. That's like me asking if I'm a, if I'm gonna go in the gym and get some workouts and I'm gonna go to shot. You're a professional. Why the fuck am I going to a tennis player? About a jump shot. That don't fucking make sense, does it? No. It makes us mad because, look, y'all, the reason why we're saying this, we have daughters. You're stopping their growth before it starts because y'all is hoes. Y'all are hoes, man. Call a spade a spade. You pop your ass. You stick your... Do y'all mind if I step on them guys? Is it okay? Yeah. Uh, you, proceed. You, proceed. Uh, you, look, look, you pop your ass. You stick your tongue out in all your pictures. What is you sticking your tongue out in a picture means? Close your fucking mouth and smile. Bat your eyes, bitch. What the fuck is you, you pointing your tongue out for? That's every picture. It's a girl throwing up her fingers. Like, fuck you and her tongue out. Bitch, no one's buying that. If you send me a picture, if I send you a picture of a girl and I say, hey, look, bro. I got this girl for you. And I send you a picture of her with her tongue out and her middle fingers up. You go, man, send this bitch back where the fuck she came from. You're telling me fuck you. And your mouth is open. What is this noise? Man, what is this whole chant? You bitches better tighten the fuck up. Y'all need to get beat on y'all backs with canes. That's y'all problem. Old school caning. Google that, hoes. Caning. Caning. That's what you need. You need some straightening up. That's the problem, man. If, if, if your granny was still around, she'd be snatching you hoes up. Like, you did what? Fuck is wrong with you? We don't even have the leeway to be playing like that. It's sad. It's like y'all just don't want... The food is fucking y'all minds up. You hoes consume so much fucking food in today's time. You eat steak, lobster, crab, let everything... If a nigga want to get up with a bitch, just tell the bitch I'm a feeder. He's coming running. How in today's time are you able to consume the food that a man can consume? It's making you too hard. It's making you too strong. It's making you too aggressive. It's in the fucking food. Damn, you ain't seen how you hoes is aging in dog years? You don't run. There is no bitch on this planet that gets a man to take care of her who don't take care of herself first. What are you talking about? A man that's about something, he looking at you like, hey, let me see what you do with your life. Well, I, I can't buy you like that. You can suck my dick or something, but I can't buy you. It's in the food, y'all. It's fucking up your minds. Girls is waking up cranky because they're hungry. That is insane, man. Fast, bitch. Drink some water. Let your body, like, calm down. If you will eat every... Look, this is the thing that drives me crazy. If you will eat every piece of flesh, dead flesh, you won't try not eating it. You'll try snail, snake, shoulder, beef, turtle. I'll try that, but you won't, your brain don't tell you, maybe I should stop for a couple months. Let me see what it's like if I stop. If you stop eating that shit, we can get through to you. You can't get through to you if you're eating that shit because your body is running off a parasite. Do you hoes know what a parasite is? Your body has a million bugs in it. So when a bitch flirt with me and I see her eat like a hot dog or uh, uh, some shit like that. Man, bitch, I know what kind of bugs in you. You ain't sucking this dick. Fuck is wrong with you? Did my, why would my dick go in your <laughs> mouth if you got bugs in your body? And I'm, I'm looking right at them. Like, your thought... If y'all think about it in today's time, girls are detached with what they say. They say anything. They they don't even think about the thoughts because it's parasites that is controlling you hoes' minds. What do you think is in... Why do you think you can eat a dead lobster and nothing bacteria or any bugs is in it? Bugs are drawn to anything dead. What are you talking about? 
If you kill a horse and sit it in the middle of the street, that horse is eaten in two days. Everything is drawn to the dead animal. So you think bugs and shit ain't drawn to that? Like, do y'all not think y'all just so want to be satisfied with eating, eating, eat? Let me get some crowd on it. Eat. You all, it's it's terrible. It's what you put in your body. Is that's why we can't get through to your mind. That's why you a reject a nigga. Damn, you eating a, a lobster. You uh, you know how hard a lobster is? It's fucking bulletproof. That's why a lobster walks around in a RoboCop suit, hoes, and it walks on the floor. And you hoes eat it. Y'all tear his legs off and ugh, like you disgusting. And you do this shit with no break. If you are gonna eat that type of shit, y'all. Do it in moderation and act, get active so you can stop this shit. If you listen, y'all, our bodies are meant to move. This is I, look, you don't believe me. I got a professional athlete here. Your body is meant to move. You have to sweat. You have sweat glands. So that means things supposed to come out of your pores. Like if you fuck with different nationalities of girls, sometimes they all going to smell differently. They're pores, right? OK, you have sweat glands. It's supposed to come out. So if you a bitch and you eating McDonald's Monday, Tuesday, you going to the crab shack with this nigga you don't like. Wednesday, you back at motherfucking this burger castle. All that shit is stuck in your body and you ain't sweat. You are a dumb bitch and your hair is going to fall out. That's why so many of these hoes is balding. So many hoes have no hair at the edge of their fucking hair. It's, it's insanity, man. I've been growing my hair almost eight years. I ain't losing no fucking hair. And my hair braided, pulled back. Well, these hoes are losing their hair around the edges and don't even know why you're balding bitch you know why you're balding because it's something that you're eating you're going bald you're going fucking bald like the wigs the eyelashes the nails stop no one's buying a fierce looking bitch man nobody's buying a wolverine hand ass heifer man you good for what the fuck you for and you send y'all on they're putting this in y'all minds man they're putting these things in our minds, bro. Right now, t currently to this day. That's why I'm telling y'all to wake up. Now, some of y'all ain't gonna be able to handle that. But so what am I gonna pick you anyway? That's the information, man. We didn't make these laws, man. We're out. I'm listen, all of us are in LA right now, working. I'm out here, bro, and I'm seeing what this is, bro. And then you like, you turn your head and say, What? No, nah, not here. Y'all have about a year, man. So all y'all that think that you got an option, you don't. If you want a better nigga than what you got, put that meat down. Get in your like, take care of yourself because you appeal. You like, you're gonna uh, appeal more to certain different ty different types of niggas. You put that shit down for three, four months. You're gonna glow differently. You're gonna become a better human. You're gonna make us more attracted to you. Your options are gonna jump. You're you don't have no options eating a Burger King or eating chick. I can't stand a bitch that's eating ch a, a Happy Meal. Uh, what's up with these hoes eating Happy Meal? Like, y'all, like four nuggets and some fries? What you do with the toy, bitch? That bothers me. Oh, let me get a little kid's meal. Uh, you're a fucking adult. Hold on. So you telling me that a bitch prefers a scammer because of what she eating? Well, no, because she can eat more lobster. Because with the scammer, nigga gonna buy more lobster. It ain't his money anyway. He gonna buy her lobster three times a day. You might say, hey, bitch, this too much lobster. Like, you don't have lobster Monday, Wednesday. You want it Saturday? No, nah, that's a little too much. You might say that. Hey, that's a little too so, much food, man. So a bitch going to think I'm soft if I get up there and order a salad? Oh No. Well, clearly we know you can buy it. I'm saying we know you can buy it. It's just, yeah, she might she she might not look at you as, no, nah, because she's like, maybe you ain't you ain't man enough because you don't. I know this, bro. Nah, she's going to think he no fun, Verb. She's going to be like, this nigga no fun. He eating fucking salads and shit. She's going to try to say something wrong with you. Damn, so I get the fruit plate and the salad, bitch, because I, I don't really You a punk. Them. You yeah. a punk. You a punk. They don't want you because you care about yourself. Like, I noticed that, too, in today's time. If you care about yourself, they don't want you either. If you're a yeah. man that stands on principle, <laughs> they don't want you either. If you're a Maybe. man that, it, yeah, like, this is the sickest shit. If you check her, they don't want you. If you let her do what she want to do, she's going to think you're God to her. But the fucked up part about that is she ain't going to think you God too long. She gonna get bored with you and start fucking other niggas, and the cycle continues over and over and over and over again. Girls, close y'all bitch ass legs and open a book. Close your legs, open a book. I'm telling y'all the truth. Shut your fucking legs. Open a book. Learn, read, find who you are. You're gonna get a better nigga. 
You're going to get a nigga that can take, like a lot of y'all hoes, me and be having to save up to go to Vegas for like months and shit. That's some shit we're going to do tomorrow. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of girls have that, that type of man. It's like, okay, baby, in July, we're going to start saving up our money to go to Vegas in fucking August. Like, it's just like, we don't even know we breathing in August, dummy. We're going tomorrow, right? If you want a better nigga, you got to appear like a better bitch. That's it. Stop listening to your friends. Put the makeup down. Ask that nigga what type, what kind of shit does he like. Turn into that. You got a better opportunity. You ain't walking in no room and saying, this what I am, accept me, and a nigga gonna buy you. Now a nigga with a choice. All the niggas that y'all like have choices. He doesn't have to take you. It seems like in today's time, so many girls don't even understand that nigga has a choice, man. He has a, if, a, if you're a black man and you got a job, you feed yourself and you got the ability to take care of a girl, you have a choice, man. You have a choice. A scammer even has a choice. He has a choice. You, you're not his only option. So you got to be what the fuck he want. Like, let me ask both of y'all this. If a girl come into your life and she's not what you like, but you like her vibe, but then she turns, she asks you, hey, man, what kind of girl do you like? And in three months, she turns into this girl. Like, tell us how do you feel about that now? I respect the effort. You know what I mean? Effort. Like it, it, they yeah, done with you. They done. No, I respect the effort, but I'm not like this is the thing though, Ver. When it come to like like Shad seen me last night. I I'm the type of nigga like it's like, yo, either it's this, I'ma go get on some other hoes. I don't even got time to play with bitches. It's like, yo, bitch, what are we doing? Because there's other hoes that want me. So I'm not like I don't even got time to have those kind of mm. conversations, Ver. Mm. And, and and it be straight up like that. Shot to tell you. Uh, hey, yeah, he went in. He went in. He went in last night. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it, it reminded me of some player shit that I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. bitch. First of all, we, like, what? Bitch, I'm the prize. You ain't. Playing. You ain't the fucking prize, bitch. You're the winner. Why the fuck do you think you the prize? Oh, wait, the say that winner. again. Say that again. Hold you on. You won, bitch. You won. That's you the winner. Shit. You not the prize. You not the mm. fuck. You play the game, bitch, to win. You don't play the. You don't play the game to give away shit. You ain't got shit to give away. Mm. Bitch, I'm the one giving some shit away. I'm here to share, bitch. That's why I say, bitch. If it ain't Karen, I ain't sharing, bitch. She knows she won. She the winner. Did you receive your prize today, Karen? Did you like it? You wouldn't tell Karen. your mama them, didn't you? Okay, that's why breakfast is cooked. I like you, Karen. You can stay. I like it. I, I like it because she won. On camera, but I'm awake. I'm gonna wait until they come out. Yesterday, you said some shit that was so cold when I asked you about that, and and it was so cold. But I ain't gonna give it to them. We are gonna wait till the first of the show drop. But it's like that. If you got an opportunity to get with a nigga girl, you gonna have to snap out this shit. All y'all dying. It's just it's nothing we can do. It's nothing we can do. It's too far gone. We've never seen the time in the world where they powered up all black girls that stood against their men. Why? Not to empower y'all because sadly, your genetic means nothing and we're getting money. There is no genetic you can get from your mama that'll make you rich. No genetic. Name one. Name a genetic you can get from your mother that will take you to the highest level in life and get you rich. No, the genetic comes from the father. It is. If you wanted the quickest, what's the quickest way for us to get rich as black people? Become athletic. One, y'all mamas got muscles. Any of y'all mamas is a, like what, what I'm saying. What what is your mama capable of doing? Okay, cool. So she got to fuck the right nigga, and you get the genetic. Like if you are over athletic nigga, that didn't come from your mama, man. I don't care how much soccer she played. It didn't. That didn't come from your mama. It came from the niggas in your line. Okay, so y'all gonna have to tighten up, and then you're gonna get in position and sit down. You do not have options. The grass is not greener. It might look like it from your window, but it's not. When you step on it, it's mud. Because the, everything you don't like about the nigga you got, the new nigga going to turn into it. He is. For sure he is. And he don't love you. He don't love you at all. He's just playing a game with you because your pussy is new. Your pussy is new. And we, we have a shot clock in our minds how long we going to fuck on you. Ooh, nigga, That's play that lie. back. Say it again for the motherfuckers all the way at the end Which of one? the I'm table. Which one? Please say that again. Which, which part? I, I I have so much. All of it. All, All of, of it, nigga. All bring of it, bring nigga. it back, nigga. That's the <laughs> bar, <laughs> nigga. All of <laughs> it. <laughs> bring it back, nigga. I, I mean, well, I, I don't remember it now because it was the truth. 
You know, we tell the truth. It's like it just comes out. It ain't nothing that's scripted. Cause it's it's a it's a hundred percent the truth. This shit this shit is real. They're gonna lose. And if y'all don't stop, there will be no men that will purchase you. Ten years from now, you will be looked at as nothing but sex. No, Fashion Nova has taken y'all faces off of them pictures, man. It is a foreign girl with a body up there now. Y'all do see these are not my laws. So Open you your saying, eyes. So you're saying there's a price tag on these hoes and, and, and the value behind what we paying for, we need to know what those what those credentials are. Like, bitch, what is what am I buying here? What do you buy? What is Think it, about what that. Does it come with this? What comes with this price? Like, this is the price, but what is it that I'm paying for? You're paying for pussy at the end of the day. You're paying well, what for What comes pussy. with the pussy? Something comes with the I pussy, that. right? That's what I said. If I, I, if I pay for Karen, like, she's giving me access to will and trust. Oh, and, that's different. And, that's and different. resources that's different. and the lawyer mm-hmm. nigga down the street, the Jew nigga across, you know, the neighbor. Like, I get access. Man, do you know, do you know one of my baby mamas said to me before? She said, oh, well, this was the time when I was, you know, going around doing whatever, whatever, you know. And she kept saying to me, I want to put an insurance policy on you. A life insurance policy. She kept saying it to me. I want to put a life insurance policy on you. And I was like, fuck no. Nah, because I know you got some money. I know you'll get me whacked, right? That's what I thought in my mind. Man, we got into an argument one day and she said, I was going to put a hit on you. She whispered it like the devil. I was going to put a hit on you. It slipped out of her mouth. I said, damn, that's some evil shit. And and I thought about doing things to her family and her brothers and everything. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like, when you hear that shit, that's some evil shit. Why? Because I'm cheating on you? They all cheat on y'all. Who don't get cheated on? Anybody here not a victim of, of being cheated on? You, you can't just select who you don't, who you want not to cheat on you. If everybody done cheated on you, they all have, right? So why when you get to this nigga, I don't want him cheating. He is going to do it. They all did it to you. And if all the niggas you had have done it to you, it's something you doing. It ain't the niggas. Because these are different characteristics of man. Like, you got four, take your last four niggas. They're all gone. Why? It wasn't him. Had to be something with you. All four left. One of them niggas should stay. All four left. You shot 0 for for 4 from the field. Come sit on this bench, baby. That's trash. It's something you're doing wrong. It's not the niggas. Because a nigga is weak. He will do the right things for the right girl. Like, it starts with the attitude and pussy. You can control the nigga with that, for sure. And then you start adding in more things. You got to add in more. You got to keep looking this way. If a nigga see you taking care of yourself and trying to, it's going to make him like you even more. It's just what it is. Not just waking up mad and screaming and eating a fucking Pop-Tart. I can't stand a bitch that eat a Pop-Tart. Like, it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, not doing that. You you got to have a look. You can, your personality, I would take an ugly-ass girl with a good personality before a bad bitch with an eye roll. I would. Because I'm looking at the ugly girl like, okay, how much it costs to fix you? What, 7000 8000 I could just make you look like anything for $8,000, right? Yeah. Personality is first. Personality is first, man. Personality first and try to take care of yourself. All y'all look good for ten thousand dollars. All y'all slap some teeth in y'all mouth, get y'all body done. Everybody bad. Standard procedure, right? So if the nigga like you, if the nigga likes you, and he loves your your loyalty, you ain't lying, you ain't playing, you on time. He will make you look like that. Don't matter. He will make you look however way you need. That's the first. The inside, the engine of the car is the most valuable, not the outside. The engine. I can paint a car. I can make the doors go up. I can put another roof in this. I can make the pipes do it. But does the engine run? The engine got to be at level. It got to be everything together here. Niggas is buying that. Niggas will buy you. But you will not ever get an opportunity to get off your feet. So many of you hoes are so tired of being on your feet. I'm tired of working. My feet hurt. Okay, act better. You act better, a nigga will pull you from that and never make you work. Act better. Care about yourself better. When you come home from work, see, at work, you walk around and sit pretty for motherfuckers, smile and joke and be pleasant because you need it. But then when you come home, you take all that raggedy ass attitude out on your boyfriend. Boyfriend is going to leave. He's going to go get another bitch. He's not playing with you, man. You don't have room to play. You think your pussy is more valuable. I have had some of the baddest bitches. I'm not lying to y'all. Once I'm done, I'm tired of fucking you. You don't even look good to us no more. 
It, she don't have to do nothing wrong. It's just I done fucked her how many times now? 45, 50? I don't know. Fuck who fuck her. That's why your personality is the most important thing because you got to be able to lock the nigga down. You got to be able to lock. If if the girl is that valuable, don't get it fucked up, y'all, me and this listening. If she's that valuable, you'd have never met her. You'd have never met her. A nigga would have snatched her ass. It ain't the fact that niggas is wrong. Oh, niggas see value and they hunt. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. What? All it takes. Hey, hey, let me ask both of y'all. Give me three characteristics that's going to make you say, I'm going to get that. Silence is one. Describe that, brother. Silence. A bitch that can sit there with her hands over her over each other and, and sitting in her lap and she can sit there with her mouth shut and just look around the room and I say a goddamn thing with a little smile on her face. So you like them very you, soft. That's beautiful. That's What's beautiful. You? Give me three. Give me three of them. Give me three. That's one. That's soft. So that's soft. Being soft and silent. That's one. Mm. Soft and silent will make me say. It. So that sends off a red alert. Give me the last one. Mm. A bitch that's affectionate. A bitch that come over there and rub his back, rub your head. Still not, still being soft and silent. Mm -hmm. But she just kind of figuring like, I know you like when I rub your back and rub your feet and mm -hmm. you know. catering, kind of yeah. catering. To yeah, you. yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, 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 visually, does she have to take care of herself before you see, before you even be interested? Visually, absolutely. That's the whole part of the job, right? Okay. Okay. The job, so to get noticed. The, All right. the question I the question I had for you was, can I pay a bitch to do that? Yes. Is that a job requirement that a bitch will take? Like if I say I got a job for you, I'm gonna pay you to be silent, soft, and affectionate to me at all times. You don't want that job? Hey, in the chat right now, ask any girls in the chat, would you not take that job? If he paid you to just cater to him. Exactly what he said. If you pay, if he pays you, are you not taking that job? Are you not going to be on time for the job every day? Are you not going to be prompt? Are you not going to smile at work? Because you can buy this. That's what a lot of girls don't understand. We don't like the, the whole phrase of, oh, I held you down. Bitch, I am up now. I don't need you holding me down. You slowing me down. What are you now? How do you speed this up? You don't speed it up for me. You slowing me down. You're stopping progress. If he said he's willing to offer that job, how many of y'all taking the job? And, and, and what come with the job, he's going to take care of you. You drive what you want. You do what you want to do. But your job is him. How many of y'all taking it? Because it sounds like a great job. You get to say, okay, I'm fucking with him. I'm, I'm out here. Beautiful LA. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Yeah. And all you got to do is just be submissive to him and do what he asks you to do. Yes. A, a, a nigga that's going to go get his money, he don't care what you do in your job. He don't give a fuck. He wants you to cater to him. He's not thinking about, oh, we have to go make the money. No. What the fuck we need a girl? No. He's saying, hey, look, just treat me like this. Your life go easy. You think a bitch give will me do yours, that shit for Ari. free? You think a bitch will do that shit for free, no. though? No. No. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. Absolutely, and I ain't got my phone. Yeah, right about so been, about yeah. two months. I give him about two months of that shit, and then and it's you gonna know. be a little problem, man. So, oh wait a minute. So, so you give her really two months to? Damn, that's wild. Yeah, I give I give it like two months. I mean, dog, if you if you fucking with a bitch for real, two months, you you fucked her over fifty to sixty times, dog. So you already know how a niggas vibe gonna be, mm -hmm. and they gonna feel that shit. They gonna they gonna feel it whether they sitting there or whatever. And it's gonna be that one day where they go back to themselves, and I'm gonna be like, I'm cool. Just one day out of you saying like a random day they wake up and that's it. A random day they just wake up and didn't cook and they didn't do. I think it's too dramatic to ask them to sit there and smile and shit. I get it because that's what I want too. But shot, I don't think they can do that shit for two months, dog. I think I, within two months you're gonna yell loud as fuck in your face. She's Even if she home. get paid, so if I'm paying a bitch to 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 comply, she just she just quit her job in which she was being compliant with the master. Now I say I'm gonna hire you to come over here and do this. You mean in two months I'm gonna have to fire this bitch? Man, she might snatch the money out your hand when she gets paid in two months. 
Oh no! See, that's terrible. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna Man, work. Ain't gonna work. We've all, we've all. I've had one. I've had, I had one that used to just sit on my couch and play Nintendo DS all the time. Niggas would come over. Who's that? Man, ask her. She ain't talking to nobody, verb. Mm. Good two months, boy. Mm. Took her out to the club one night. Man, that girl was wild as fuck. I lost her. All right, so, so why do you think that they don't show us who they are off the jump? That's what makes us even matter. Just because it's not like we don't like hoes from time to time. We do like hoes from time to time. But it's like, why not show that off the dump? Why why not appear why appear like you are a woman and you know you're not? You know he's gonna find out soon and you're going back home. Be real with him. Hey, look, I ain't gonna even lie, I used to be old. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what this is with me. All right, cool. We respect the honesty of it. Cause you'll never be able to do the shit we done done anyway. Never. Yeah, I don't think they know. I don't think they understand. We respect that honesty. If a girl told me straight up, "Yeah, I used to be a hoe," I'd, I'd listen. I'm like, "All right, where's this going?" I've never heard no bitch talk like this before. Where the fuck is this going? I'd listen for real. You gotta respect it. You have to respect it because she's being honest and looking looking a man in the face that she likes, saying, "Hey, look, I used to be a hoe." That can be forgiven, y'all. Y'all don't understand, man. If you a hoe in this city, a nigga move you here and you start over, you ain't no hoe no more. No, nah, you you left that in the other city, niggas. Will, but you can't you can't be a hoe in another city though. I don't even hear hoe though when I when I when I, I hear I have experience. I experience. have experience. Mm-hmm. I have experience. Mm-hmm. I have experience with with how how about you niggas? It's just the type of niggas you start throwing out there that I have to look at you different because I know them niggas. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, you know who now? Mm-hmm. Mm, I know them niggas. Mm. I know what type of hoe you is though, because I, I know what type of hoes they like. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's what type mm. of hoe you is. You oh, you that type of hoe. Okay, you got that type of experience. I like that. Okay, you so you know how to sit on the couch and be quiet, and you know how to Absolutely. cook too. You Absolutely. Gotta but know see, how that's to not cook. a hoe. Hey. That's a that, business woman. That's yes. a business woman. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. If she know how to sit pretty and she just a hoe, she's a business woman. She's playing the game. That's we, 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 the whole shit is when we we just automatically know you a hoe. That no 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 no. If you was a hoe in your city, you can start over. If you move, yes you can. Like a human being will make mistakes. Like some of these rap niggas, they fall and they put their dick in other niggas' mouth. Is it a mistake or is that a fetish? Sorry, but humans make mistakes. It's okay, y'all. You leave that shit in the past and you go forward and get to another place. And you decide, all right, man, I'm finna let that part of me go. That's fine. But you cannot change from a hoe to a good woman and we in the same city. If you freaky little Kiki from down there, and then I run into you again like, damn, Kiki, I ain't seen you in a minute. No, no. Whoa, bitch, hold on. Let me pull this hair out. This bird, what you talking about? You know I hit you several times. I don't do that no more. You're a lie. You are going to keep doing it. If you, a, a, Any man listening, if a girl used to be a hoe in your city and she sticks her chest out, like she ain't no hoe, you're a damn lie. You a motherfucking lie. You still live here? Oh, you're ours. I'm gonna fuck what? No, you belong to us. Until you until further until you, otherwise, you pack your shit up and leave, and then you can be whoever the fuck you want. But as long as you're from here and I know that you a freak, you will be a freak every time I see you. Now, when you get the courage and you say, I'm gonna go to another city, man, we we done with it. It's gone. Clean slate. She start over. So it ain't never too late for none of y'all. Just got to figure out how to do it, man. All right, cool. Look, it's not cool running around being a hoe and disrespectful now. Five years from now, you have no niggas. Ten years from now, you are by yourself, depressed, wrinkling, cats, everything. You're nothing ten years from now. It's not cute. All right, cool. So if you a hoe, cut that shit off. All right, let me stop. Let me get with a nigga that's going to accept this shit and move on with my life. Cut this shit off. That's it. And you can go forward. It's not over. It's not, man. You just got to find the right fucking system and the right nigga to play with, man. That's it, man. Once you do that, you're good. Try it. Try it. If y'all are tired of going to work and clocking in and Miss Patty steady saying to you, hey, girl, how you doing? And you know, if you're sick of it, change, heifer. Why? Y'all not tired of getting up at 435 in the morning, putting on construction boots, going to a motherfucking factory with niggas? You're, you're not tired of, of, of waking up and, 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 and feed motherfuckers a chicken fillet? You're not tired? Take two months off. 
Get yourself together and appear differently. That's it. It don't even cost nothing for y'all to do it. You can go to these fashion overs and all these spots, get dolled up. Niggas don't look at your fucking heel. We're not looking to see if you got on a, 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 a Louboutin. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. Just get clean and go around the right niggas. You can be picked. You got to let that other side of you go, though. To go forward in life, you got to let some go. You got to let some go. If you don't let that shit go, you're stuck like this for the rest of your life. And guess what you'll be doing every holidays? Just up licking your... I can't stand a bitch that lick her fingers after she take barbecue sauce. Like, mm, it's so... You're going to be one of them funky ass hoes that's over the stove talking about the news and making greens for the rest of your motherfucking life. You're going to get worse and worse. Your face is going to wrinkle. Your back is going to get bigger. And nobody's going to want to fuck you ever. Nobody, because you're going to get older and fucking older. Don't be fooled. The older you get, the less valuable you are to us. Niggas will hit you, and they throw you away. Keisha Cole, for example, she had that little young nigga. Everybody was, oh, he got that little young nigga. As soon as he got done with fucking her, what'd he do? He went right back to what he wanted to do, because they're older girls. They got 200,000 miles on them. They stuck in their ways. It's a fantasy. Nigga going to fuck you and send your ass right back to where you came from. You don't have any options. The old men with money, they're going to pick a better girl that fits their life perfectly. They're not going to accept anything. How many of y'all actually have a gym membership where you go and run at least every day? If you go and walk 30 minutes a day, man, your whole mind and everything will change. Everything about you will 100% change. Just go try to go walk. Over, just walk and think. Stop listening to the radio, man. Ride in silence, man. I, and I'm tired of giving these whole game, man. I got to get ready and shit, man. I'll hit y'all in a minute, man. We got to move, move around podcast, man. We got